What's up? It's Tuesday. I'm Tay, and it's Tuesdays with Tay, because we're back. Sup, Tay? Where did Al get all the background music and slap bass sounds for the Tuesdays with Tay 100th episode? I need to download some music for a school project I'm making. Bean did it. Bean Dip did it. It was sick. All right, we'll, we'll put a little link to the whole entire soundtrack <laughs> in, in the comments. Tay, you should shave your head bald and get some glasses. You could be the next Walter White. Yo, I don't even want to be that. I, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know how to do a Walter White impression. What's my name? I like it a little bit. <laughs> What's the kid's name? <laughs> Walt Jr. <Judy>. No. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman. Do as I say. You know nothing, Jesse. I must teach you. Walt Jr., clean your room. Fucking deal with it. <laughs> he stabbed himself in the eye. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. <laughs> hey Al, can we expect to see Fiddlehead on Spotify at some point? I don't know. I don't. I think. The, are you guys are pretty punk. I think you're too punk for Spotify. Yeah, yeah. They're on title because they're paying. They're paying their artists way more. Yo, eat something weird. Give me that hot sauce. Oh, really? Fuck. <laughs> Tay, is it okay that I like you too? Which record? If it's anything other than Joshua Tree, then no. You are fucking up and you need to throw that record out and get Joshua Tree, because that record is sick. Hey Tay, can you tell Melissa I'm sorry? My name is Emilio. Yo. <laughs> is this like a reference that I'm not getting? No, this is a man trying to seek help. I don't really know what the deal is with Emilio or why he needs to be sorry, but Get your shit together, Emilio. Dean, what did you learn about Australians in Australia? Australia. Uh, they have no idea who the people on their money are. Because the $100 bill has like a crazy like Bronson dude with a mustache and I was trying to figure out who he was, but nobody knew. Their money is sick though. Their money is way better than our money. Australians are generally pretty bad at American accents. I think the best phrase that we got somebody to say, because everybody always says, well, what do you want me to say? And then one girl just said, put peanut butter on my bacon, <laughs> which was then the phrase that we asked everybody else to say. So one person, the whole time I was there, one person said, good eye, mate, and I lost it. <laughs> Question, who did the artwork for the new Me Without You album? Sealy. Vasily. Vasily. Vasily, he's a Russian artist from Italia. <laughs> What's What's Bonanza that? spaghetti and fettuccine is he did some Smashing Pumpkins art and all the other Me Without You arts. So if you like arts, check out Vasilio from Russia. Sup, Tay? Who's the coolest bass player in hardcore? I mean, <laughs> Franz, I guess is his name from Turnstile. That's like the first thing that came to mind because everyone likes Turnstile nowadays. But the sleeper, obviously, is going to be Bean Dip. Do you live hardcore? Duncan. The bassist of Basement, the hardcore band. <laughs> Basement, Straight Edge Hardcore from London. New demo, coming out 2016. GDBH? What? Yo, Dane and Tay only. What was the most awkward thing your parents caught you doing? I can come, I can come back to it. Yeah, I know Dane has something. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I want on the internet. One time my mom caught me peeing off the front porch with my friends, which wasn't a big deal. Uh, she, you know, I couldn't go outside for the rest of the day. I used the family computer to look at stuff that I shouldn't be looking at, and my mom had to sit me down and ask why she found a bunch of weird stuff on the on the on the computer. I tried to blame it on my sister, but my mom knew due to the content it was not my sister. Technically, that's a win because after that I got my own computer. Yeah, I soiled that computer. <laughs> No, don't. No, that sounds gr That sounds like I just like erupted on it. Alex, did you enjoy Outbreak Fest? And who was the best band you saw that day? Outbreak was so good. Nobody likes you. No one cares. Outbreak was great. Lots of cool bands played. I'd say I think my favorite might have been Cold World. It's been a while since I've seen them. And Turnstile was real crazy. Title Fight was great. All around great lineup. And they had like cool food trucks. So that was awesome. Like. I got a sick burger. Crab got vegan food, he's eating healthy, that's dumb, but I showered the burger. I think it was called like, like Dirty Burger or something, I don't know. You would have loved it, Dirty Burger, straight up. Yo Tay, why did Dane go to Australia with Citizen? 
I don't know. <laughs> it's like, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, that's just a thing we do with uh, our younger bands. Um, they just need a, a label chaperone. And I was just up in the rotation, so. Uh, it's prom season. Tell me about your guys' prom. Alex, do you even have proms in England? <laughs> prom? My prom was okay. It wasn't very good. I had a lacrosse game for my prom, <laughs> and I, w I showed up late because it was an away game. Yeah, yeah, people in England do have proms, but it's, it's, it's weird. It's not like how they have it in America. It's more like we're trying to copy it. So I don't think we really know what we're doing. I definitely had an afro and played in the cover band that played at the prom, and I covered Rage Against the Machine, and I wish there was still video footage of it because it was so sick. But, pardon? Yes, <laughs> Renegades of Funk. Yo, I had an afro, I did the whole rap, it was sick. Renegades of Funk. Dude, the afro was just untamable. It was offensive. I went to prom three times. First year, I had a buzzed head and looked awful. My date was taller than me. Second year, driving home, there was a spider in my car. I got scared and had to pull over. And, I mean, third year, I went, I, I actually technically met my current girlfriend at prom with another girl the third year, so. That one went okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't have a date until like the last week. Uh, and then oh, I went with my friend Erica, and it was really weird, because we were just like friends, and then like I just ended up eating chicken fingers the whole time. After party was sick though, because we took my friend's fucking Ford Bronco to Hampton Beach, and listened to Corn all the way up. Uh, and then, uh, I'm not gonna say the rest of the story. I don't know, I asked this girl to prom, and she sort of gave me this like, hush hush like nah but it was like yeah so I play bamboozle instead <laughs> it wasn't down. Tay what's your favorite RFC release of 2015? The Me Without You record is amazing so that's that's what's gonna have to take the cake. Tay who in the office is most likely to get into a world star fight? Honestly Brian but I feel like the the wild card might be Al. Someone says something weird about the Queen and he just snaps. Tane would be filming it like this and screaming world star. Yo Tay, has anyone ever been super horny in the office before? <laughs> yeah, Alex. I, I look over and he's just... Dumb. He's got that weird look in his eye. His body is all the way under his desk really far. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just be looking over and I'll be looking at a, at a, some, on a website and I'll just hear on the bottom of the desk like... <laughs> And then I know. Uh, yo, Tay Boy, who in the office is coming to Bloodfest? I'll be in Belize, sorry. Psych, I'll be there, it'll be sick, let's hang out, let's go to Bloodfest and chill. Michigan, I've been there like once before. Def the people who you want to come. Al, Bean, Dane, Tay, and Theo. But uh, Tom, no. Jeff, maybe. And does anyone else work here? No, no one else works here. Chris, the UPS guy, will be there. He'll be signing autographs, he'll be receiving autographs in his little UPS computer. Uh, it's just gonna be UPS mayhem out there. Uh, yo, get Alex to give a belated birthday wish to Courtney Clark. CC, what up, what's her name, Candy Cherry? Courtney Clark. Courtney Clark. Courtney. Courtney. Courtney Clark, you know it's a good day. You know it's a good day, it's your birthday, it's your boy, and I believe in you. What's up, girl? Everybody in the office, what's your favorite meal your mom would cook for you as a kid? My mom makes dope beef wellington. Beef wellington sounds like, oh, beef wellington. No, get, get me my beef wellington, please. So now you're doing Russian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, get me my beef wellington and the caviar. I need vodka. Uh, go with the El Clasico, the rice and black beans with some chicken, straight up. I'm just trying to like play outside and come in and eat some chicken nuggets and mac and cheese, you know? Not pass. Justin? Just pass. It, I know it's not mom, but my dad used to make spaghetti pie. Dude, that thing was sick. I eat it all the time. Spaghetti pie. Shout out dad. Shout out cooking dads. Shout out dads that cook. Yo, Tay, have you ever used the crazy helium app? Nah, brah, but we gonna. Alex, what did you put in the mix for the drink? I feel kind of weird. Bang bang, I like weed. I like weed. Bang bang. Go vegan. Say hello to my mate. Hello. Stinky, very stinky. 
Are you having a giggle, mate? What are you doing? What are you doing? I like to put cheese on it. So I'm back. Mate, I've got a bone to pick with you, mate.